Hi guys, so this is my January and February book haul. So back in January, Barnes & Noble was having their buy two, get the third book free on their Barnes & Noble classics. And I kind of couldn't resist. First off, I picked up volumes one and two of the complete Sherlock Holmes. Uh, when I first saw these, I was a little bit confused because I noticed that they're both the complete Sherlock Holmes, but they, didn't, they had uh, slightly different covers, as you guys can see. It took me a while to realize that one was volume one and one was volume two. Like, anyway, so I got that. Next up, I got World of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to get since I already had two books in my little collection. And I was like, well, what else am I going to get from these Barnes & Noble books? And I was thinking about getting uh, Don Quixote uh, by Miguel de Cervantes. But it's just such a fat book. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if I want to read something so huge. But it is a classic. And I was thinking about maybe, maybe getting Frankenstein. But... Um, Alas, I settled on World of the Worlds. I figured I would probably like this one since it is sci-fi. Um, and I was debating whether to also get The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, but I figured I'll get it on a different uh, Barnes & Noble trip. And you guys probably, if you guys saw my bookshelf tour, you guys would have seen these on my bookshelves because I filmed the, sh the tour after I bought these books. So those are my Barnes & Noble classics. These next books I bought, I bought on Amazon. So first off, I picked up Misery by Stephen King. I've been wanting this one for a while, but I've been wanting to look for a trade paperback copy. Unfortunately, I cannot find one anywhere, so I just finally settled for the mass market paperback. Uh, there is a movie version out there of Misery. I think it stars Kathy Bate and James Caan. But I'm not sure. It came out in the 70s. And I remember watching it as a kid. Like that scene where she hobbles him is crazy. Or which other scene's cool? Oh, the one where he smashes a typewriter like straight into her face. And he's like, if you want to eat it. That was a really good scene too. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to read the book. And sorry if I just spoiled it for you. But those aren't spoilers. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, so Misery by Stephen King. Next up, I picked up World War Z, An Oral History of the Zombie War by Max Brooks. Uh, Amazon recommended this one to me because I liked more bodies and I had bought in that. So they were like, oh, you might like this. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this one's set up, but it's zombies and it's a very popular book right now because the movie comes out later on this year. Uh, and this book has just been very popular ever since it was originally released a few years ago. Um, I remember seeing it everywhere and Amazon was like we recommend this or new bestsellers or whatever so I, and I think this one's set up like a bunch of interviews or like an like a Q&A type thing but I'm not sure um, but I'm intrigued to read this and see how that goes and I don't know about the movie I don't know if I'll see it or not the trailer is kind of like meh whatever um, but since I'm in a zombie mood after like warm bodies and walking dead's back and even though I haven't been watching Walking Dead. Like, I like Walking Dead, but I kind of want to watch other things. And so I'm, I'm a little bit behind on my Walking Dead. And I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible Walking Dead fan. The next book continues on with my zombie theme. And that is Zombies vs. Unicorns. I actually have no idea who wrote this. Um, I know it's a series of short stories. Some are zombies stories, some are unicorn stories, and I've been wanting this book ever since I saw Priscilla from The Readables talk about it. She mentioned it, I think in a Christmas haul a few years back, and she did a book review on it. And it sounded funny, and it sounded interesting, I had never read anything like this, so I went ahead and picked this one up. The next book is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, this one I actually didn't get from Amazon, I actually bought it at Target, um, and I was in Target looking for City of Ashes. I had just finished reading City of Bones, a uh, book review for that will be coming soon. Um, and I wanted City of Ashes, but they didn't have City of Ashes, and I was in a mood where I needed to buy a book, and if I didn't buy a book, I was going to be jonesing for that urge to buy a book. I mean, sometimes book buying is an addiction and I mean I guess it's a better addiction than other things but still I mean come on anyway 
so I saw this one and I had read the synopsis for The Night Circus on Goodreads, I think, or Amazon, and it sounded interesting and it actually reminded me of an episode of Torchwood, if you guys have seen that show. Um, there's an episode where like the circus comes out of the night, sort of. <laughs> um, so I was intrigued and I'm not, I'm not one of those people who likes circus books. I don't go out and buy every single circus books. Clowns freak me out. But this one sounded interesting. And I actually like this cover. I like the, the black and the silver and the red on the spine. Um, I'm usually not one to be picky over covers, but this cover actually was like, wow, that's really, that's a really pretty cover. Uh, so hopefully the book is good. I've heard good things, but you know, you never know. And then the last book I picked up is Locas by Ixta Maya Murray or Murray. I don't know how to say her name. And I honestly don't know if it's Ixta or if it's Ishta, because it's Y-X-T-A. So you guys can decide how to pronounce that. Anyway, uh, this book was recommended to me by my BFF a few years ago, and I've been wanting to pick it up for a while, but it's always $14. And I mean, it's a short book. It's only about 250 pages. So I couldn't justify paying $14 for a 250 page book. Uh, luckily, a few copies of this were in Amazon's book bargain bin or whatever it is. So I got it for six bucks. Which I was like, yeah, six bucks. Um, it's a much better deal than $14. And a if you guys want to know what this one's about, it's about a couple girls named Celia and Lucia. They live in Echo Park, which is a neighborhood in East LA. Um, Celia is the sister of a like gang lord kind of guy, and Lucia is his girlfriend. So it's basically their stories of one girl becoming powerful by association because she's dating this gang kingpin guy, and Celia who is trying to stay on the street and narrow. She has a kid and a whole bunch of other stuff happens. Um, my friend said this was a good book. She said it was crazy, um, but crazy in a good way. I think just the way it plays out is really well done. I've read like the first two pages of this and so far I'm liking the writing style, I'm liking the stories. I'm usually attracted to these kind of books anyway. I have a few Sandra Cisneros books on my bookshelf, so I, I figured uh, to give this one a go. And it also reminds me of a movie I watched called Mi Vida Loca, which is basically the same thing. It's a bunch of girls uh, who I believe it also takes place in Echo Park. And they have, um, they don't have, they're in a gang. They're a part of uh, a gang. So it's their sort of stories of how women in gang life play out. One of the girls, like two of the girls are best friends and they both end up having kids by the same guy. And one girl just came out of jail and she's trying to sort of get her life back together. It, it seems like a very similar story, although I think one does not have to do with the other. I don't think maybe La Loca was based on Locas, um, but I, actually I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just speculating that they're two totally separate entities and they just happen to be uh, very similar. So. So those are all the books I picked up in January and February. All the links to these books will be linked in the description box below in case you guys want to read uh, anything more about them or see, in, uh, not interviews, but uh, reviews on them. Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!